everyone needs some low level fencing in the garden. It's great for creating those boundaries between your own and your neighbour's front gardens or even creating little living spaces, tiny little garden rooms in an existing plot. Now the first fence panel that a lot of people go for, something like this, it's called an overlap panel. And why is it overlap? Quite simple. Each of the horizontal boards overlap each other and that means that the water runs really easily down it. If you have a good look, each of those slightly different sizes and they've got a wany or a wavy edge to them gives it a great rustic appearance. The whole thing is framed. It's also got two upright bands, two vertical bands at the front and the back to give it a lot of rigidity. Now you may have noticed it's an orangey brown colour. That means it's been dip treated in preservative. What that means to you and me, you've got a 10 year guarantee against rot. But that's only if you do two things. The first thing, you have to paint it with preservative outdoor paint or stain every two years. The second thing, you have to put it on top of a gravel board and you have to use a sawn timber post that have got a 15 year guarantee against rots because they've been pressure treated. And on top of your sawn post to stop water getting down and to make it look better, put a fence cap on top or a finial. It makes it look really good. Now this one is three foot high, six foot wide, three foot high. You can also get four, five and six foot high. I've got to tell you, this is one of my favourite fence panels. But before we talk about the design, have a look at the colour. It's a tonal green that blends in with the rest of your garden. And that's because it's been pressure treated with preservative. So you've got a 15 year guarantee against rot. Now that's important because you don't have to do anything. No painting, no staining, no preservatives for 15 years. On a fence panel like this, and this is a pale fence panel. Some people call it palisade, some pick it pale fence panel. It's quite awkward. You imagine trying to brush in and out of each one of these, it takes a long time. And this is a gorgeous piece of kit. Can you imagine nasturtium spilling through there, sweet peas pouring over the top, or even a rose? And just very quickly, the way it's constructed is great. It's got this little design feature here that's very practical. It's got a sloped cut so the water runs away from the panel. Now you don't, or I've never put a gravel board with these, because you just want to let the air get through and your plants as well. But also, if you just raise it two or three inches off the ground, it means you can strim under there, you can weed under there. Now it's available six foot wide and it's only available three foot high, but to be honest, you don't want it any higher than that. Now this is the first one of the screens I'm going to show you. Now a screen compared to a panel. Screens are metric, so you've got to think 1.8 metres wide. Now if you're going to try and put one of these between two existing posts that used to be in the old imperial stuff, it might not fit. So I have to have a good measure up, measure twice before you get anything sorted. This one is the Hanbury Lattice Screen and it is perfect for growing some roses up. It's sturdy, the lattice work, each of these diamonds are sturdy so it can take rose stems for example. You can put it on a gravel board if you want, it looks good but you don't have to because it's got that 15 year guarantee against rot. I do love the curvature on the top, it's beautifully made with mortise and tenon joints and a rebate frame so the actual lattice work fits into it snugly. It's gorgeous and will really suit a cottage garden feel. Now this one is 0.9 metres, 900 centimetres high and 1.8 metres wide. You can also get it 1.8 metres high. I've got another screen for you. This is the Paloma screen. It's 1.8 metres wide and you can get it in three different sizes of height. You can get 1.2, 1.5 and 1.8 metres high. Now I like it for a few reasons actually. It's got this integral lattice work on top and that, if you've got existing fence panels or screens, is hard to attach. So it's actually already in there. It's done a great job for you. And have a look at the wood. It's got a profile on the front. It's riven. It's also, some people call it hit and miss. I prefer more of a layered effects and you're getting a lot of wood in here the whole frame is rebated so everything's snug as a bug in there it's gorgeous it's solid it's adding that little bit of style to your garden now when you put in a screen like this or a run of screens like this up you don't need to use gravel boards I sometimes do but it looks great without one you don't need one and the post use smooth planed post and if you have a look at this they've been rounded or weathered at the top so you don't need fence caps. Last screen I'm going to show you has got a bit of business. Look at this. This is the Kendall screen. 1.8 metres wide, 1 metre high. That's the only height you can get it in. But this is a statement piece. Come and have a look. It's absolutely chunky with wood. It really is. The, the top of it here, the framing, which goes all the way around, isn't going anywhere. The balustrades, they're all smooth plain, so they're great, very tactile. And the wood that's been used has been slow grown, 
kiln dried. It's not going to warp. This is great. Now, 15 year guarantee against rot because it's been pressure treated with preservative. So that means the preservative has been forced into the woods. It's gone deep into that woods. You've got a 15 year guarantee against rot. You don't need to paint it. You don't need to do anything with it at all. And because you don't have to do anything for 15 years, that's going to save you a lot of time and money in painting, staining and preserving. And that goes for any of the panels or screens that you see with this tonal green colour to it. Don't forget to use those smooth planed posts that have been weathered or rounded off at the top. And you can, you don't have to, you can use a gravel board just to finish it off. This is a real statement piece. This isn't to be hidden in the back garden. This is a front garden piece. It's a showing off screen, this one. So whatever screen or panel you use, Pick the right one for your garden, add a bit of style, add a bit of fashion and practicality.